Well, good morning, YouTube. Pastor Matt here. Probably looks like I just have a uh, average book from the library here that I checked out from my local public library or perhaps a high school reference section. But I assure you that this volume, this little book in my hands, is no, uh, no ordinary volume. This is Matthew Henry's A Way to Pray, published by Banner of Truth formerly titled A Manner of Prayer, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that you'll find that this book is actually a great benefit to your spiritual devotional life. And I will show you why in a very short review right here this morning. This book is entirely a compendium of prayers that you can pray directly to God, whether in your personal devotional life or at the family dinner table or perhaps in the public worship service. And what's beautiful and extraordinary, extraordinary about this volume as at Matthew Henry with the light revision of O. Palmer Robertson, uh, who updated the language mildly, takes the language and prayers of the Bible itself and turns them into prayers for you to pray. So let's get into an example right quick. Great are you, O Lord, and greatly to be praised. Your greatness is unsearchable. We can never by our searching uncover your greatness as our God. We cannot fully understand you, the Almighty One. Who can adequately proclaim your wondrous works? Who can declare all the praise you deserve? And you see here the references to the scripture, Psalm 145.3, Job 11.7, and Psalm 106.2. And so what Matthew Henry does, and again, light revisions by Robertson, is he takes verses of scripture from all over uh, the canon of the Holy Bible and turns them directly into prayer so that almost every word you're praying is literally a scripture verse, now just slightly reconfigured into the form of a direct prayer from you, the prayer, to God, the recipient of your prayers. Beautiful work. The whole work is the Bible. You're praying the Bible is what you're doing when you when you read through this book. Uh, and there are several different sections that I'd like to just talk about briefly. There's praise, uh, where you're proclaiming the greatness of God. There is a great section on confession, where he takes uh, many of the confessions or statements about human's nature, hu human nature, turns them into prayers of, rep of uh, repentance, confession. There's a section on petition where you're asking the Lord for certain things. For instance, in this one, as you can see, I, I write in my books, break sin's power, uh, break its ability to dominate us uh, so that we may no longer live under the compulsion of lust, etc. You can see I take little notes. There's a section on thanksgiving here, where we give thanks and praise to God that he's always near, that he's within us, that he's our covenant Lord, that we might joyfully sing. Again, these I'm working through these myself right now. Uh, intercession prayers as we pray for other people that we love and care for. And finally, there's an entire section on uh, particular occasions, such as birth, sickness, illness, um, all that, all that kind of thing. I highly commend this to you. If your prayer life needs a boost of pure octane fuel, how could you improve on praying directly the words of Scripture back to Almighty God? If you'd like to grab this, here's the link. Look at the description of this YouTube video, and you'll take uh, yourself straight over to Amazon.com, and you can and you can grab this volume. It has a, a more beautiful cover to it, but I took that off. I like the hardback look. And I hope you would grab one and continue to pray. Okay, love you lots. Have a great day. See you soon.